Hello high tracking community. My name is Michael and in this video we will talk about transition matrices. On the screen we can see an eye tracking experiment with a bar chart. Transition matrices work now as follows. We take the raw data, so the gaze points and create fixations. Then we are using areas of interest which process the fixation data and based on these areas of interest we compute transitions between these areas of interest and they are visualized in a transition matrix. So first we need areas of interest. We are using three areas of interest to understand the eye movements in this example. One for the x-axis, one for the y-axis and one for the bar peak. Based on these areas of interest, we are now computing the transition matrix. So I go to the AY editor and say analysis transition matrix. I'm selecting only one participant and here we can see the transition matrix for P1. I ignore these two um, specific areas of interest and we focus now only on the task relevant areas of interest. So how does a transition matrix work? We have a transition from bar peak to the y-axis. We have a transition from the x-axis to bar peak and from the y-axis to bar peak. So we have total three transitions between task relevant or semantic uh, related areas of interest on the stimulus for P1. So to better understand now what the transition matrix is doing, we will use a scan path visualization and will follow the path of the attention of the participant. So this participant first focused on the center of the screen and then moved the attention down to the x-axis. And from there P1 move the attention up to bar peak. And this is what we can see in the transition matrix. So we have a transition from the x-axis to bar peak. So this is shown here or indicated by this one, number one here. Then this participant, let's see, move the attention from bar peak to the y-axis. So we go to the transition matrix again. So from bar peak to the y-axis and then move the attention let's see so try to read the value of the of the bar peak on the y-axis and then move the attention back to bar peak and this is what is indicated by this one here so from y-axis to bar peak so the transition matrix is aggregating over time the transitions over the areas of interest. So there are now two options how I can continue. First is to export my transition matrices and to do a statistical analysis in a separated software or to continue the analysis in Blickshift. The first option goes like this. I select all the participants in the transition matrix component and then I say go to output, export to files, enter here a file name, so say tm for transition matrix um, and say OK. So now the files have been exported to CSV files like you can see here. For every participant we get a transition matrix CSV file. The second way is to continue the analysis of the relationships of the areas of interest, so how the attention moved over these areas of interest in Blickshift. And just to give you a little glimpse how this is working, I go to the AY editor, I open here the parallel scan path visualization, I activate all the participants and here I can see a visualization of the transitions um, between the areas of interest at one glance. Starting with this visualization and combined with the powerful tools in our software, you can search now for a similar eye movement behavior in your data set. 
You can find groups of participants which have performed a similar eye movement behavior with just a few mouse clicks. And this helps you to better understand how your participants have performed the tasks in your experiment. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked the video, press the like button, subscribe to our channel and share this video with your community. And I'm looking forward to see you in the next video.